Hey Capricorns and welcome to my channel. My name is Indigo and I'm here to bring you your May 2018 channeled messages from Spirit. So um, we will go ahead and get right started right away. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It won't resonate with everybody. Take out of it what you want, leave what you don't, and enjoy the message. So for um, Capricorn, especially Capricorn Sun and Rising, um, or not rising, I'm sorry, Cap, uh, Sun and Venus, you guys are having a very spiritual month. Um, something, something very, someone or something very important um, to you in your past, you need to go back and revisit that. You need to go back and um, close the door to that situation so it allows you to move forward and allows you to end that chapter you guys are so close so very very close to ending a cycle and it's very important something from your past needs needs you to revisit it needs you to take the time to uh to work through it to heal from it and and success will then move in towards for you For a group of you, you have somebody new coming in. They are very attractive. They are, yeah, they're very good looking, very mysterious. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun with this person, but be careful with this energy because you could fall very, very fast for this person and could end up possibly getting your heart broke because... This person, uh, they're not really looking for anything serious. They're just wanting to have fun. They're kind of that, like I said, that mysterious bad boy type. Um, but just enjoy the moment. Don't rush into anything. Uh, don't worry about what next week's going to be. If you're going to be together next month, just live for the day because this person's going to bring a lot of fun and joy and passion to your life. Um, for some of you, you are sorting through feelings in the month of May. A lot of energy, uh, a lot of energy is transferring uh, into different planets. Uh, as we all know, Uranus is transiting into Taurus for the first time in eighty some years. This is really going to make some major energy shifts for the collective in, in general, but especially for you guys. Um, but it's going to be in a positive way. It may be hard to get through at the time, but uh, the next seven years is going to be an amazing time in your life. If you have been struggling in the past, that that is over. Um, success is coming your way in relationships and finances and careers, family, um, sorry <laughs> for a group of you, it looks like you guys are, it's like you guys are trying to fix somebody like they're damaged and you feel like if you love them enough, if you help them enough, if you are there for them enough that you're going to fix them and Though a select few of you may be successful in that, um, just remember how hard it is for you to make changes in your own life. Even if it's something as little as a diet or a workout regimen or um, not looking at your phone so much. You know, those things that you just, the little habits that you try to break. Think how hard it is to change for yourself when you want those changes. Um, and then compare that to how you feel you will find success in changing someone else who really doesn't want to be changed. In time, they will do it. They will figure out the errors in their ways. They will figure out what has hurt them and what they need to do to heal. But until they're ready, they're not going to do 
And if they do, it's going to be very, very short term and it's going to go back to the way it was. So um, be careful of wasting your energy on someone else trying to repair someone else's energy because you're going to get drained. You're going to get worn out. You are going to get emotionally exhausted and then tension is going to form. Arguments are going to happen and it's just not going to end in a very positive way direction. So just remember to love people for who they are. And if you, if you can't love them in that way, then maybe it's time to, um, project your energy in a different area of your life in a different, um, in a different project, whatever you have in your life right now that's going on that needs your attention. Um, for, a group of you, you have the world in your hands right now. You are, yeah, you just have all the options this month. You have all the opportunity. You have everything at your fingertips to be successful. And some of you know that and you're going to own it and you are going to use it to your full potential, your full advantage. And it's going to magnify your success that much more. For those of you who are in question about a path that you're that you are currently in, you don't know if this is what's best for you. You don't know if a move is what you should be making as far as like a physical move, an address change. Um, believe in yourself. You're where you're at where you're at for a reason. And when you are thinking about moving on, thinking about moving somewhere else, it's it's probably time to move somewhere else. Um Spirit is wanting us to remember that we're, we're not meant to be stuck in one place, in one town, in one home for the rest of our lives. We're meant to get out there and explore and experience new things and meet new people and taste new foods and enjoy life to the fullest. So if you're one that is questioning whether you should do it, if you feel that it's for you, take the jump. It'll all work out. For those of you who do decide to move forward, you're going to find a job that's going to bring you success in a like world. Um, like People are going to know you. People are going to recognize you. Uh, it's something in like communications, like you public speak or or you perform, you could be a performer, you're on a stage in front of a lot of people and people, you're going to come into this, uh, you're going to come into this job after you move forward and change your location. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of you, for some of you, you're calling somebody out on their bullshit. You you can see they're trying to manipulate you. You can see they're trying to play mind games with you and you ain't having it. You are pointing it out. You are bringing it to the front and, um, and pointing it out. You are letting them know you're not going to put up with their games. You're not going to put up with their shit because you have a lot of options out there this month. And as always, but especially this month, you have love. Like you guys are a magnet this month and you know this. You don't have to put up with that if you don't, you just don't have to put up with it. There are so many people out there and you are telling this person that, um, it kind of brings a, a chuckle to my face because you guys are just let you're just point blank putting it out there. Um, spirit is encouraging you though, not to, not to go so far as to hurt somebody's feelings. Um, they may be doing this, but not in a way that, um, is so intent. Like they may be doing it without even realizing they're doing it, or they may be doing it, not realizing the impact it could have on you. So just make sure you, uh, keep it toned back. And when you're calling these people out on it, do it in a tactful way. So you're not hurting uh, somebody's feelings. 
ask for a group of you, you are enjoying memories of the past with a soulmate. You are, I don't want to say stuck in your memories because sometimes stuck is, it has such a, a negative uh, connotation to it, but you're just, you're catching yourself daydreaming about this person. You could have not talked to this person in a very long time. And just all of a sudden you, you're thinking about them now out of the blue. You're wondering what they're up to, where they're at, what they're doing with, you know, what's going on in their life. And you are manifesting your soulmate back to you. You will have soulmates returning right after the 15th of the month. Um, within a couple of days, I would say around the 17th or 18th, you guys have a connection with a soulmate. Um, for some of you, you are dealing with a third party situation. Um, in this situation, there are two females and a male. I'm sorry. My nose is really itchy all of a sudden. Um, could be a water sign female and a fire sign female. Or it's one woman is very emotional and um, like like uh, very emotional as far as like crying and and just very emotional. And the other female is fiery pissed. Uh, or this could be one person who goes from over emotional to pissed off because she is getting. Uh, word that there was another person in their relationship. Uh, I'm seeing both situations. So whatever fits for you. Um, I do see both sides making a decision. Um, I see the male choosing the spouse instead of the third party. That leaves the third party angry. And then I see the spouse saying, well, you know, that's nice. You picked me this time, but I'm out. And the male will, uh, more than likely a water sign male, um, in his either sun or moon, um, he's going to end up by himself. Yeah. Capricorn, I see you as the um, well, I see it in both situations. You're either the spouse or the, the third party. Um, I don't see the male being a Capricorn. Um, I see heavy, uh, Scorpio energy. And like I said, um, or maybe I didn't say it, but yeah, heavy Scorpio. He's either, he's Scorpio sun, possibly Scorpio moon, but those are for a very few people. This person's slick, like he's good with his words. He, he has a way of smoothing things over before, before anybody even knows the shit storm happened. He's like that good. Um, but his bullshit's being called out. You have the strength to move forward. You have the strength to move on. And once you get past that, um, the hurt and the betrayal, you guys have your life partners coming in for those of you in this third party situation with those signs. If they're not in those signs, then this isn't your specific message, but you guys have a soulmate coming in. Um, this is, you are going to end up leaving the, the spouse, or if you were the third party, you guys are moving away. You're moving to a different town. You are leaving all that in the past and moving forward. You think that a new a new town, a new location is going to help you heal. You're perfectly right. And not only is it going to heal, help you heal, but you are going to meet your life partner um, in this new town. For a group of you, um, I see you walking away from a lover. This is uh, separate from the third party situation I was just talking about. This is a different group. Um, I see you walking away from somebody you love, somebody that you've put a lot of emotional investment in. You guys share a lot of good memories, but the bad is starting to outweigh the good and it's just taking its toll on you. 
you guys are keeping secrets about your future plans, your plan to move forward from your partner. Um, yeah, because you're keeping everything bottled up. And if you don't start releasing these feelings um, that you are dealing with on your own, you're just going to explode. So um, make sure you're letting them out somehow, even if it's in meditation, just speaking them out loud by yourself in your quiet, sacred space. Go outside and, you know, tell them to the stars. Just don't, it, there's something with the power of speaking them words out loud, whether anybody is there to hear you or not, is a form of therapy. And you, you got to start doing that because you guys are bottling it all up and it's going to, you're going to implode. Um, for a different group of you in love, um, your partner is, or for a group of you, it's an ex. For another group of you, you're still with this person. They are reaching out to you wanting to invest um, more into this relationship or coming back to you and promising you that they will invest more this time. Um, you're going to end up taking a step back. You're going to take it all in and decide whether you can trust this person again to let them back into your life or if you want to even put in the effort for those of you who are still together with this person. Um, you're going to know what to do because destiny is at work. Um, you know what's coming. You know you have a big thing coming. You can feel it because your intuition is on point this month. Um, trust your feelings, trust your thoughts, uh, cause they're not steering you wrong. Destiny is at work. The stars are aligning. The planets are shifting and we are being put into our path that we are meant to walk for this time being. And oh, I'm so sorry. My nose is just horrible itchy. And you know that you are about to shift into an amazing opportunity don't let anybody hold you back. There's going to be those naysayers out there that are going to try to keep you down, that are going to try to discourage you from uh, going after your dreams. Don't let them because you are going to find success. You can feel it. I know I know you know it's coming. Um, for a group of you, you have new people coming into your life and there's just something about their energy that just isn't right. You can feel it. You can sense it. You can, you just know that, that there's something that isn't adding up, even though right now it looks as though two plus two equals four, you know that there's something in there and you're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, you're going to figure out the situation and you are correct. Someone is hiding something from you. Someone is trying to keep the truth from being brought to you or someone's trying to keep the truth from, from getting to you somehow. Um, yeah. So just be very observant. Um, very cautious about those that you let into your personal life. Those that you have around you in your space, because there is something, someone around you is, is deceiving you in a way that they're not being 100% honest. They're not deceiving you in an ill, Ill intent or uh, in a malicious way, but they're keeping something from you that you need to know. Um, and you will find out by the end of May. Uh, May 11th, I see, is big for you guys. I think that's a Friday. Um, you're going to wake up this day feeling very different for a group of you. You just know that something's going to happen this day. You have that, you know, that deja vu feeling where you feel like you've woke up and you've lived this day before. You're going to have that kind of feeling going on. And, um, Early in that afternoon, 
you are going to get um, contact from somebody that you think very highly of, somebody that you know from your past, somebody that is very positive in your life. They are returning. And it's just going to be a blast from the past. It's that deja vu feeling. You are going to get it constantly all day. Early afternoon, you have you have a big surprise coming for you from somebody that you haven't seen for a very long time or someone that you have not talked to for at least 12 to 16 months and somebody that you madly are still in love with. Um, yeah, very, very exciting day for you guys. You guys are going to have a great weekend. Um, for another group of you, you are somebody that, um, you look up to in like a business sense, like in your career, uh, you are going to realize something in regards to something within your work. Like something's going to come to you, an idea, uh, you know, a business proposal, something. And somebody that you admire, somebody that you would never imagine would give you the time of day to give you advice on your business. You're going to run in into the, like your idol and they are going to help bring you success. They're not necessarily going to partner up with you, but they are going to say something in conversation with you or, you know, give you a piece of advice and it is going to click. It's going to hit something in that brain and you are going to have a realization that is going to be life-changing. Success. Big success. Um, however, be careful on May 16th. You guys have... Uh, you guys have a new connection coming into your life. But you also have a very confront confrontational energy about you. You, um, may not be very approachable. Um, you know, one of those days where you just have like resting bitch face all day, even though nothing's necessarily wrong. Um, you're going to be very, uh, you're just going to be confrontational. Um, be careful that you don't, uh, become so unapproachable that you miss this, uh, connection that is coming in for you. This is going to be a beautiful friendship. Um, you are going to be honored to be in the presence of such a good friend. This is somebody you've never met before. This is somebody you are meeting for the first time, but years down the road, you guys are still going to be the greatest of friends. So this is a very, very imp important soulmate to you, but it's a soulmate in the form of, you know, family, friend, you know, non-romantic um, you guys are just going to hit it off if you are approachable. Um, be careful. Some of you I see getting the flu or food poisoning. Um, be very careful of dehydration. Um, be drinking plenty of fluids. I don't know why I've seen you guys, people getting sick there, but, uh, yeah, you guys are getting the flu or, or could be a chance of food poisoning mid month. Um, Yeah. Um, especially if you're like running a fever, don't let yourself get dehydrated. Don't hold off going to the doctor. Um, even if it is just the flu, at least, you know, because I, for some reason, um, lots of stomach flu, vomiting. So once again, let me remind you, I'm not a doctor. Do not take medical advice from me. Um, follow your own, uh, feelings about getting medical advice, but be very careful because there are people getting very sick with, uh, the stomach flu. I hate the stomach flu. There's nothing worse than vomiting or dry heaving. I swear to God. Um, <clears throat> for a group of you, that really took a weird turn. Sorry about that. Um, for a group of you, your guys' creative sense, your uh, creative mind, your juices, they are just flowing. 
you guys are having ideas and they're just like flowing out of you. Like you don't even know where this is all coming from. You'll wake up from a dream and suddenly know exactly how to fix whatever, you know, for example, I'm seeing like, um, somebody who is like working the fields in a tractor, um, you know, that it's that time of year you're planting. There's something not right with something keeps jamming. You wake up and you instantly know how to fix it. Um, for a group of you, you're inventing some kind of spring that is in the head of like a corn head or a bean head. Um, God, you can tell I'm from the Midwest, can't you? Um, Somebody is inventing a spring that is going to it's going to keep that from jamming somehow. You're going to wake up with this like invention. Um, make sure you're writing down your dreams. Somebody is going to capitalize on that dream they have and it's going to explode. It's going to bring you success like millions. Um, so make sure you're writing down your dreams. Your guys' creative uh, mind is just in hyper overdrive. And so many of you are finding success. Uh, on the 27th, especially, uh, you guys have a idea that is out of the box. Uh, you know, everyone else is kind of scoffing at it. That'll never work. Um, Follow your own intuition, follow your own thinking, your own thoughts, your own feelings, because you are going to be successful. This um, idea you have, it's going to bring you not only happiness, financial success, but it's going to help a lot of people. And yeah, and that is this is your sole purpose for those of you I'm talking to that have this idea. Um, and for a group of you, your problems are just disappearing out of thin air. Thank God. Um, after uh, all these transits mid-month and the energy shifts, things are just going to be able to be, everything's just going to seem so much easier. You're even going to be able to breathe easier. Um, things that were bogging you down, things that were making you feel depressed, sad, anxious. They're not going to seem so bad anymore. Um, financial troubles are coming to an end for a lot of you. You're just going to move forward in such a positive direction that you can't help but come into more positive energy. Um, you've kind of been in a slump for a group of you and your vibration is just kind of getting lower and lower and lower because that's what you're surrounding yourself with. That's what you're thinking. That's what you're manifesting. Things are going to do a 180 flip so fast. And you are just, you, it's just going to be so much happier. And it's instantly going to be bringing um, positive things to you. You're going to be manifesting positive things. And yeah, and you're going to get out of that depression you've been suffering from. Um, for a group of you, um, you guys are moving to the next step in relationships. Um, for some of you, that is, you know, if you're just dating, you're going to be moving in together. Um, for some of you, if you're living together or if you're not living together but have been together a long time, you guys are deciding to tie the knot. Um, yeah, some of you guys are starting families. And our first time moms, for all you moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Um, yeah, just relationships are really moving in a positive direction for you guys this month. And sometimes you guys kind of get bagged on, you know, you're <clears throat> for your relationships. And I think a lot of it is because, you know, your um, association with the devil card and the tarot, like everybody sees that and it's like, <gasps> the devil or a Capricorn, you know, it's like, you kind of get that negative connotation sometimes. Um, but you guys are finding so much success this month that everyone's going to want you in their life. Everyone's going to want that, um, your card to be in their reading. 
because you guys are finding success and you're taking everybody with you. Like you aren't leaving the guy behind that just because he's not as successful as you, you guys are like the more the merrier let's go. And it's, and it's an amazing energy that you guys are putting off this month. And, and it's going to be moving into June and July. Um, <clears throat> for a group of you, I see you guys get, um, business financing coming through for another group of you, you guys are, um, buying in, or selling your home and moving into a new bigger one. Um, which is always very exciting. Uh, and this is very important for a group of you, you are dealing with family issues, childhood hurts, um, confronting the past that has haunted you. Um, these are some pretty big childhood hurts and you are, you're going back. You are going back to the past. You are confronting the people that needed to be confronted in a healthy and mature and a responsible way of doing it. Um, and you're going to heal these family issues for a group of you. If you haven't talked to your, um, your parents, I'm seeing mostly your mothers, um, in the last five to seven years, if you haven't talked to your mother for something that happened in the past, or she's not talking to you, you guys are going to be coming together by the end of May. And you're going to be able to set everything aside. Some of you who are dealing with an older sister also, um, something happened within the family and you guys are not talking to an older sister sibling, that is also being put away. That is being dealt with. And um, you guys are going to be able to move forward and leave that chapter behind. And a new blessing is going to come in the form of something for you. Um, because that chapter is closing. You cleared that out of your life and now there's room for more. Um, yeah, for some of you, you have new opportunities coming into you, new doors opening within the job area. Um, your finances are improving. For a group of you, you were required this past two to three years to totally rebuild your foundation. And and rebuild your inner power. You had to. You had you had no choice because somebody else tore your foundation out from underneath you. Somebody else tore you down. Um, they were very mentally abusive, emotionally abusive. Um, you felt broken down to the point of no more, and you can thank them because what the only thing that they did was get you down to square one. And from there, you, you are building a beautiful life. You are finding emotional stability within yourself. You are finding self-love. And with that, your twin flames coming back for that group of you who I am talking to, uh, May 28th is going to be a huge day if you are a twin flame and you have been in separation. Um, they are coming back for you. And it is because you are able to rebuild. You are able to heal. You are able to move forward and build a beautiful inside and out. And you guys have something very exciting coming in June. I'm going to wait till my June one. Yep, I'm doing that. But... I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> um, for some of you, you are growing into this world in a whole new way. Uh, you are calling in life partners. Um, if you are a female Capricorn in your sun or Venus, and you are within the ages of, let's say, 30, 33, 34 to 40, um, the last week of May into the first week of June, you are calling in a life partner. This life partner is going to be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or they're going to be a Virgo. Those are the four signs I'm seeing. Um, sun, sun sign only for those four, um, 
different signs that you're, if you meet a love interest in the last week of May, first week of June, you're between those ages with your placement and their placement. Chances are, I would bet a hundred to one. Those are your life partners and you're going to know it instantly. Um, it's going to be kind of like that corny movie that you used to watch where they met from across the train station and their eyes locked. It's going to kind of be like that. You're not going to be at a train station, but they're going to catch your eye from across a public place and it's going to go from there. Um, you have not met this person before. Um, however, Capricorns, you guys also, oh my goodness, my nose is itchy. You guys also have soulmates returning in the form of romantic relationships. And yeah, they are going to help with any challenge you have in life. Um, they are coming in to help you be successful for you to help them be successful. This is your best friend. This is your partner in crime. I mean, yeah, there's somebody from your past. They are a soulmate, but you're going to pick up like you never left off. Um, and most importantly, you're going to have your best friend back. You're going to have that one that you want to rush home and share your day with. And they're just as excited to do the same. Um, for some of you, I see unexpected expenses, however, at the end of the month. Um, just be aware if you can set back some money, <clears throat> a little out of time. It's the last week of May, first week of June. It's going to, it's just going to be an unexpected expense. You can't help it. Um, so maybe try to prepare for the future in that way. Um, for a group of you, you guys are getting down to business and you're getting to work. You are building new businesses. You're getting finances to start those new businesses and they will be a success, especially if you're in the area of like home construction, if you're building houses, um, you're remodeling houses. If you are buying real estate, flipping it and selling real estate. Um, yeah, anything in that area, huge success. Uh, really Capricorn, if you guys are open for love this month, Love is coming for you. Love is here. It's an open, it's, yeah, it's just here. It's, yeah, it's going to be an amazing month for anybody who is open for love. It's on, it's here. It's ready for you. We got twin flame reunions coming. We have soulmates returning. We have new life partners entering our life. It's just nothing but success. You guys are Yeah, you worked so hard to fix yourself, to fix your life, to fix your world. Um, so many of you are reinventing yourself, reinventing what you want in this life. And, and your blessings are here. Yeah, so many, so many big opportunities for you guys. I'm so happy for you. Um I see marriages coming up this summer and these are to people that you're not even in a relationship with right now. Um, you know them, but, um, by end of summer, I see a lot of you guys getting married. Yeah. I see some of you going back to school, uh, to get a higher level of education so you can get a better job within your company. They are sending you back to school. Uh, take that opportunity by you taking that opportunity, you're not only going to advance in their company, but in the next seven years for this group of you, I see you expanding huge. So if you have the opportunity to take up the schooling that a company is offering for you, do it. Um, you may have to stay there for three years is what I'm seeing to repay their schooling that they paid for for you. It, it may be three years of your life that you're there, but it is an investment of a lifetime. And like I said, in seven years, in particular, this, these people that I'm seeing, and this is a large group of you, oddly, um, huge expansion. Some of you will be going out on your own. 
and starting your own company in this field. Others of you are going to be like prime candidates for huge worldwide companies that are looking for you to join them. So don't turn down the schooling. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. So, all right. I have babbled now twice as long as anyone else's videos, but Spirit just had so much to uh, channel today. And who am I to stop chatting when I got messages coming in for you? So, um, like I said, I'm so happy for you guys. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. She is a Capricorn moon. I love you very much. And to everyone else out there, have a great month. I wish you love, light, and God bless.